Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge. And today we are talking about top 40 interview questions and relevant answers for DevOps Technical Manager. This is the part 2 of the video. Let's begin. What is the role of containers and orchestration tools in DevOps and how do you use them in your projects? Containers and orchestration tools like Docker and Kubernetes play a crucial role in enabling portability, scalability and automation of applications in DevOps environments. I use containers to package applications and dependencies and orchestration tools to manage containerized applications, automate deployment, scaling and orchestration tasks. How do you handle incidents and outages in a DevOps environment? And what measures do you take to prevent their recurrence? I handle incidents by implementing incident response processes, setting up monitoring and alerting systems, conducting post-incident reviews to identify the root causes, and making improvements to prevent similar incidents from recurring, such as improving system resilience, updating infrastructure configurations, or enhancing testing procedures. Describe your experience with cloud services and how you leverage them for DevOps practices. I have experience with cloud services like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, and I leverage them for infrastructure provisioning, automation, scalability, and cost optimization in DevOps practices. I use cloud native services like AWS Lambda, S3, or Azure DevOps for building and deploying applications, managing data storage, and implementing CI CD pipelines. How do you handle technical debt in your projects? And what strategies do you use to address it? I address technical debt by prioritizing and planning refactoring tasks, allocating time for debt repayment in sprint planning, involving the team in identifying and resolving technical debt, and establishing coding standards and code reviews to prevent the accumulation of new debt. Describe a time when you had to make a tough decision as a DevOps manager and how you handled it. Here, you need to share a challenging decision you had to make, such as prioritizing conflicting tasks, resolving resource constraints, or handling a critical incident, and explain the factors you considered, the decision-making process you followed, and the outcomes of your decision. How do you foster a culture of continuous learning and improvement in your DevOps team? I foster a culture of continuous learning by encouraging knowledge sharing, providing training opportunities, setting up mentorship programs, organizing hackathons or innovation challenges, and recognizing and rewarding team members for their contributions and achievements. What metrics do you track to assess the performance and efficiency of your DevOps processes. I track metrics such as deployment frequency, lead time for changes, mean time to recover, change failure rate, system uptime and availability, resource utilization, and customer satisfaction to assess the performance, reliability, and efficiency of DevOps processes. How do you manage stakeholder expectations and communicate project progress effectively in a DevOps environment? I manage stakeholder expectations by setting clear goals and timelines, providing regular updates and status reports, addressing concerns or feedback promptly, involving stakeholders in decision-making processes, and ensuring transparency and visibility into project progress and outcomes. How do you handle on-call rotations and incident response in your DevOps team? I handle on-call rotations by setting up a well-defined on-call schedule, establishing clear escalation procedures, providing necessary training and resources for on-call engineers, monitoring incident response metrics, conducting post-incident reviews, and continuously improving incident management processes based on feedback and lessons learned. Describe your approach to building and leading high-performing DevOps team. 
you need to share your strategies for recruiting and hiring top talent fostering collaboration and team cohesion setting clear goals and expectations providing opportunities for growth and development promoting a culture of innovation and learning and recognizing and rewarding team achievements how do you ensure smooth collaboration between different teams such as developers operations qa and security in a devops environment i ensure smooth collaboration by fostering a culture of shared responsibility and accountability organizing cross functional team meetings promoting knowledge sharing and mutual understanding of each team's goals and challenges and using collaboration tools like jira confluence or slack to facilitate communication and coordination what strategies do you use to handle version control and code repository management in your devops projects i use version control systems like git for managing code repositories implementing branching strategies like git flow or feature branches setting up code review processes automating build and deployment pipelines triggered by code changes and ensuring version control best practices and security measures are followed how do you approach configuration management and infrastructure provisioning in your devops projects i approach configuration management by using tools like ansible chef or puppet to automate the configuration of servers and infrastructure resources ensuring consistency and reproducibility for infrastructure provisioning i use tools like terraform or cloud formation to define infrastructure resources in code and manage them programmatically describe a situation where you had to make a significant change in the devops processes or tool chain how did you approach this change and what was the outcome here you need to share a scenario where a major change was required such as adopting a new tool restructuring processes or transitioning to a cloud native architecture explain how you assessed the need for change developed a plan for implementation obtained buy in from stakeholders managed the transition and evaluated the impact on team efficiency project delivery and overall success how do you ensure compliance with regulatory requirements and industry standards in a devops environment i ensure compliance by conducting regular audits and assessments implementing security controls and best practices documenting and enforcing policies and procedures incorporating compliance checks into ci cd pipelines and collaborating with legal and compliance teams to address regulatory requirements and standards what strategies do you use to handle change management and ensure smooth deployments in a production environment i use change management processes like release planning change approval boards and rollback procedures to manage changes conduct impact assessments communicate with stakeholders and plan deployments during low impact periods i also use automated testing canary releases and blue green deployments to minimize risk and ensure smooth transitions how do you handle situations where technical debt compromises the stability or performance of a system in a devops environment i address technical debt by prioritizing and scheduling debt repayment task involving the team in identifying and resolving technical debt issues allocating dedicated time for refactoring and code improvements establishing code standards and code review practices to prevent the accumulation of new debt and monitoring technical debt metrics to track the progress and make informed decisions describe a time when you had to lead a team through a major incident or an outage how did you handle the situation and what lessons do you learn from it here you need to share a specific incident or outage scenario explain how you coordinated the team response communicated with the stakeholders resolved the issue conducted a post incident review and implemented improvements to prevent similar incidents in the future highlight the lessons learned best practices identified and the impact on team collaboration and resilience how do you approach capacity planning and resource management in a devops environment 
to ensure optimal performance and cost efficiency. I approach capacity planning by analyzing system performance metrics, forecasting resource usage based on historical data and future growth projections, setting up auto scaling configurations, optimizing resource allocation, monitoring cost metrics and conducting regular reviews to adjust capacity requirements based on evolving needs and priorities. What is your experience with implementing and managing containerized applications in a DevOps environment? And how do you ensure the security and efficiency of containerized deployments? I have experience with Docker and Kubernetes for containerization and orchestration of applications in DevOps environments. I ensure the security and efficiency of containerized developments by implementing security best practices like image scanning, least privilege access, network segmentation, and vulnerability management, optimizing container configurations, monitoring container performance metrics, and integrating container security tools into the CI CD pipeline. Thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel, Fixing Knowledge. Stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.